Today I'm going to be showing you how you can actually apply for privileged intents for your Discord verified bot, so let's go ahead and get into the video. Now the first thing that you have to keep in mind is you do need a verified bot for this. If your bot is not verified, you can actually go ahead and enable and disable these intents whenever you would like, but you are going to actually have to apply for the intents if you do have a verified bot. If you'd like to watch the verified bot tutorial on how to actually verify your bot, you can do so, the link will be in the description, but if you have been accepted, we can actually go ahead and get started with this. So over in the developer portal after you're accepted it's going to look like this you have all of these intents probably enabled from before and you're going to have to apply for them or you can turn them off now what's going to happen is your bot is not going to be able to join any servers if any of these are on and not approved what i mean by that is i have not applied for any of these intents but they are still on meaning my server cap for tutorial bot is still at 100 if i turn these off i will not be able to turn them back on without actually applying for the intent itself so we can go ahead and click on apply here and this is actually very similar to the verification application. You're going to notice you can apply for the member's intent, presence intent, or message content intent. All of these are a little bit different and I'm actually going to go and explain them for you. So we'll start off with the server member's intent. So the member's intent is actually the easiest to get and it's also very, very simple. So basically what this is, is it gives you access to member data within your server. Obviously you're going to be able to get basic information like IDs and stuff. If you'd like to get member update events or member join events or member leave events, anything where something is happening to the member within your server that's where you're going to need the server members intent. So a lot of the time when people are applying for this, they actually apply because they have a welcome message that uses the guild member out event, and they actually need the server members intent for that. Next is the presence intent. So the presence intent is basically going to allow you to see the person's status. So this includes online, do not disturb. This includes what their actual status is, maybe their rich presence, what games they're playing. This one is very, very rare to actually get because there's not a lot of features that you're going to need that actually require this, and that cannot be done with the actual discord client now the message content intent basically allows you to read and gain access to messages now, you do not need this to actually see when messages are sent and count the numbers you need it to be able to actually read the message that was sent so that's a quick summary on what all of these actually are so before you apply just go ahead and think of the feature you're actually going to apply for and keep in mind if you're trying to apply for something like a member count command or some command like that like something that isn't user compelling and something that can't be done with the client, then you're going to get denied. The only time you're ever actually going to get accepted for any of these intents is if the feature you're applying for cannot already be done by the Discord client and does not break any of the Discord terms of service. So in this video, I'm just going to go ahead and run through the application for the server members intent because that's the easiest one to do. But before I go ahead and do that, I just want to say that the presence intent and the message content intent are a little bit more advanced than the server members intent for the actual application. For the message content intent, you actually actually have to specify all of this information. For example, if users can opt out of having their data tracked, if you're storing it, and if you have a privacy policy. Now, you have to have a privacy policy. If you do not have a privacy policy, they're going to deny you or they're going to ask if you can send one or create one. So we can actually go ahead and run through the application for the server members intent because that's what I'm going to be applying for in this video. So we can start off by going ahead and describing what my application is. I just went ahead and put a brief summary of what my application does. So now we can actually go ahead and move on. So we're going to go ahead and go down to why I need the guild members intent. You're going to want to go ahead and describe the feature that you actually need this for. So for me, my feature is actually a advanced join logging system. And what I mean by this is when a user joins the server, it gives a basic information on that user, and then you can either kick or ban them from the server if you don't want them in it, or you can just go ahead and leave them. So back over here, we can actually go ahead and describe that. So as you can see here, I just went ahead and put in a quick description of that feature that I showed you before. Now keep in mind, you do want to be pretty descriptive and you want to give all of the information of the feature you're using. So next we can either provide links, screenshots, or videos that demonstrate my use case. So for me, every single time I apply for one of these, I go ahead and make a short YouTube video that is unlisted. So I usually say something like, hello is a video that demonstrates my use case. And then I go ahead and link that unlisted video below. I'm not going to actually link that in this video because I do not want to show that actual video link in the actual video. Then after that, you're going to want to select if you're storing any potentially sensitive user information off of Discord. And for me, I am not storing any of that. I'm only storing user channel and guild IDs, which are not sensitive information. So after completing the application, we can go ahead and click submit. And then you'll have to wait for your application to be reviewed. Now keep in mind, this application could take like 
30 minutes. It could take 10 minutes. It could take a couple of days. Just be patient and wait. And yeah, after you're done submitting, nothing is going to change. and You're not going to get any emails or anything like that until it's actually reviewed. And not even 10 minutes later after applying for the members intent, I got accepted for it. It's very simple to do so. Just make sure you follow those steps and you'll be accepted easily. If you have any questions with this, go ahead and join the server in the description below and I'll be happy to answer those questions. And of course, I would also recommend joining the developer server and that will also be in the description below because this is where you can actually get your legitimate questions answered by Discord staff. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.